Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss QDIR class, the Qt directory class. So what is the Qt directory class and what it does? This goes to the uh, Qt creator, click help, type of QDIR here. We'll get all the information about the QDIR class. So the QDIR class provides access to directory structures and their contents. So basically, see, it will be handling all the directory structure and the, their content related things. So the example we are going to demonstrate today is create a simple, simple GUI application which input a directory path and list all the files and the subdirectories under this directory. So here is a Qt creator and I have created build a simple dialog application called my Qt test, which we have built, created a line editor, which we are going to use for input the directory path. And this is a plan text editor, which we are going to use for display all the directory, subdirectory and the files under the directory. And we, when we click about this button, go to, we put the direct, directory here, we click the button, go to, and we list all the subdirectories, all files here. So now let's go to, okay, first of all, we are going to which point we are going to start. Let's say we start from home directory. So let's go back. So first we are going to say set up a line editor with a default. What we say is a home home directory. So line editor, we're going to set text. What we're going to set, we use a QDIR. There's a function called a home path. So this function we return the queue string of a home path, uh, which we going to set up a line editor as text, which our default start point. Let's see. We're going to run. So now you can see it come to the home directory. It's a home directory and then now fear nothing we have to do yet so let's go back to the design so we see when we click a uh, go to button and we list all the subdirectory and the files under this plan text editor box okay so do this we right click on the button we say go to slot and we say click the Let's click OK, and they come to the um, push button clicked. But on push button clicked, first of all, we have to first thing we make a plan line editor. We make a clear. So if you have something before in that box, we clean this. So each time we click a button, we first get. And now we want to get a current directory. So Q string. What's a Q string we got? We call the U R R P A T H, which current pass where we got. We got from the UI. I editor text. So that's what the text in text box we got from the for the kernel. Now we have to do is to initialize our object we call it my dear. So which starter, which is a C-O-R-R path. So we start our, instantialize our directory object called mdir and start from this current path. So if we, if this path 
exist. There's a function for this object, a method of this m dir dot So if it exists, we're going to do something here, right? So if not exist, but we are going to, we put a, we just write a directory not exact in the, not exist, put it, so the UI plan editor site plan text what we said directory not exist and then also if exist what we are going to do let's go to the our help to first what method for QDIR class we can use to get our subdirectory and all the files under the directory. So let's go it slow down, scroll down. So you can see there's an entry info list. Let's click here. So this one return a list of Q file info object. It's a list of this object for all the files and the directories in the directory. So we're going to use the entry info list method to get our information of all the sub subdirectory and files. So we have to create the first Q file info list. Let's return the Q file info list. We call the my list. What's my list equal? Equals uh, my directory dot uh, entry info list. That method we see returned all the directory and the subdirectory and the files into this list. Now we try to make a loop of this list to append the information of the directory and files into our plan text editor box. So it goes to for ch each what's a each let's uh, save the type. So the list returned object of this one. Call my item and uh, my list. From this list, we return each item. And what we do, we to put the append this. So append it to this plan text editor. What we're going to append to the item, item dot absolute pass absolute file pass so this means give you all, you all the file name and the full pass so let's try to do this and let's go nothing wrong now let's try to see if it's able to run It's building. So far looks good. Oh, now they come out. So they start from our home directory. So let's click go to. Wow, they give us all the code directory, right? Let's say let's change to this directory to the test. And then let's click go, go to. Let's go to all the, our test directory. So let's check uh, this, this test directory has uh, four files and, uh, and uh, one subdirectory here. And there's uh, two, this is line called the current directory. This is the uh, top directory. So I will show you why we have this. So let's go to the Linux box. Let's go to the 
PWD, it's a home deal test. So ls manual L, say we can we have a file four elements in here. So one is direct subdirectory, we have a three files and here. So let's go back to the our dialog. We have a one, two, three, four elements here. So what these two come from? Let's check from here. So ls main array. So these two come from this two dot dot and the one dot. So the one dot is the current directory and the two dot dot is the one the one level up of directory because if we see t dot dot, it will go to up. So so this is why this dialog has this two. But you can do the filter to get the filter of these two if you like. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. In this today's short video, we discuss the QDIR class. Hope you enjoy. It's good. It's going to be great to have your feedback.